hope you guys are doing well. Edgar from Solo Marketer here. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a quiz inside your courses in System.io. So essentially, you have an opportunity to not only have the course right, provide information, but also quiz the course takers to see whether they actually retain the information you've given them. And uh, yeah, if you stick around uh, till the end, I have a free gift for you that will help you sell more courses in System.io. So yeah. Uh, more on that in the end. Uh, but yeah, like I mentioned before, this is a good way to kind of have your people not only just kind of blitz through the course, but also see whether they retain the information. It's kind of a good way to kind of get feedback to see whether people can actually complete the quiz or they ask questions like, you know, what's I can't, I'm getting stuck here, this doesn't make sense, or it just kind of gives you more clarity. Uh, yeah, and technically you can do a quiz question or a set of questions for each module. So what you do, how you set it up is uh, you go to products, courses, and then you click on the respective course where you want to set up the quizzes. There's the, you can see the module list, right? And then next to the module, there's the three dots and you click on quiz for this module. So let's set up a question. Let's do a quick one. Uh, what color uh, is the sky? Can't type today. Save. And then let's expand it and let's add some answers. There's going to be correct answer and wrong answers, right? So let's say it's blue, right? And then if we check this box, that's going to be the correct answer. So let's click on it and then let's have a couple more answers that are going to be wrong. Let's have red. So let's not check this. So if they select red, it's going to be wrong and they failed the quiz, right? The test. And let's add another one. Green. Uh, yeah, let's add this and then another one. Technically, you can also say, I don't know, other colors, white, right? Or gray, let's say uh, gray, right? And technically you can have several correct answers. So you can do this as well. In this case, we're just gonna do one. So let's go back. Uh, let's just do, I don't know, yellow, right? It can't be yellow. So we have four answers. So this is the quiz, but a couple more things. This is not done yet. First of all, you can add more questions, right? Over here, add question. You can add another one, another one. It doesn't have to be just one. Uh, if you've taken the system.io certification courses, uh, you can also see there's like, you know, at the end of each module, there's like multiple questions. Some of them have, have several answers. Some of them have only one and just kind of there's a list of questions. There's not just one. Uh, but yeah, besides that, also, if you click on the settings, uh, the threshold, if you click on the question mark, it shows here. Uh, what is the expected result that you need from people to take this quiz? what is kind of like the lowest percentage that you're expecting, right? So if you have like five questions and let's say 80% is a pass, so right, so kind of four out of five answers need to be correct, either four or five. So you kind of set that expectation here. If it's 100, all the answers to all the questions have to be correct. So this one, you know, if it's like multiple questions, you know, like I said before, like five questions, for example, I would set like 80%, right? Or maybe 60 if you want to make it easier. Uh, but yeah, just kind of set that or if you have one or two questions, set it to 100, and then basically they just have to, you know, make it perfect. Uh, and yeah, once all that is done, let's click on activate, and then, you know, are you sure, all that stuff, confirm. And now if we go back, let's go to the student dashboard, and here we can see what it looks like in real life. Let's click on it, let's click resume, and uh, let's move my face, and over here, yeah, you can see the quiz here, they can select the, the answers, right, and then they can submit answers. And then it will actually show them whether that was correct or not. Yes, congratulations, your score is 100. And then, you know, see the results or go next. This is from the end user's perspective. Um, also, this is a really good thing to do, quizzes, if you do certificates as well. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how to automate that whole process. Like when they have a 100% completion uh, rate, with a course, they can receive a certificate in their email, right? So that video will probably pop up somewhere on the screen at the end of this video on how to set up certificates in system.io as well. So that kind of works really well together with the quizzes. That's kind of like the reward, right? They go through the course, they test their knowledge, and then they get a certificate. So all that tied together, it's I think it's a really good idea. And that's kind of a one of the good kind of a good approach to do it but yeah go check out that video which will pop up any second and also as i promised at the beginning in the description check below below this video uh, my completely free system.io sales funnel template which comes with a sales page a thank you page a course template a uh, a welcome email i think that was it uh, also obviously an explainer video how to 
tie it all together. So that's essentially if you want to sell more courses through system.io, I kind of have a template with like full instructions, how to edit that sales page and how to make sure you can sell more courses. And it's kind of a, it's really short and sweet, but it kind of, it gets the point across. It looks something like this. So you can go check it out. This is kind of an example, but I have like an explainer video where I kind of take you through everything, how to edit every section. So yeah, that's in the description. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way, go check that out. Go check out the video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.